It wasn't long ago that Manchester United splashed the cash on the likes of Paul Pogba and then got Alexis Sanchez in on big wages. However, Shaka Hislop, with the players they've been linked with, and we'll get into that shortly, mm. a lot of them are a lot younger and looks like they're targeting potential. Do you think that's the correct way for Manchester United? I do, and I'll tell you why I say that. A few years ago, uh, I had the opportunity to sit down uh, with Sir Alex Ferguson in New York, one of his, one of his, well, his most recent book launch and just spoke about his approach uh, as manager at, at, at Old Trafford and, um, and, and how thin a line it is between success and failure. Let's remember that, you know, Sir Alex Ferguson, by all accounts, was one game away, the FA Cup final away from, from getting the sack at Manchester United. Things went their way and the rest, as I say, is history. And we could be having a totally different conversation both about him and United as a club. And I asked him if that game didn't go his way if somehow the ball bounced the other direction and, and they lost. Um, what then? So I, and his response was, was simple. I would have taken that exact same approach to another club because I was sure that it would work. And by, in his own words, that, that approach was, you've got to make the foundation and the young players the, the backbone of, of, of what you do because they are the ones who save the club in, in the long term. And if you have a good foundation, if you have a good academy, you are then able to spend um, maybe a bit more, but if you do so wisely, in building a team for the long term. So to see this approach, and again, no real surprise, that it's Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, one of Sir Alex Ferguson's um, longest serving players, uh, who's, who's spearheading this. Uh, so in all honesty, just given what Sir Alex Ferguson said to me, I, I think it absolutely yes, it's the right approach. I think that's kind of impressive. Uh, that kind of name drop just 14 seconds into an answer is very impressive. I've, I've been working on, on my name dropping skills for, for quite some time. It's, I, I wish I could. Ha I wish I had another name that I could drop that had me with my name dropping. It's Paul Marner's birthday today, but that's pretty much all I've got. Let's take a look at some of the players that United have been linked with. Now, out of these five, and they've been linked with others as well, for, for me, it, it screams, get them while you can. You don't have mm. to pay a premium. Which of these quintet excites you most? Uh, Ryan Sessegnon. Given what we've seen from him in, in, in a Fulham shirt, uh, particularly l last season, not, not the season that, that they, they had in, in, in the Premier League, but how he totally set the championship alight, is, is exactly, I think, the type of exciting young talent that Manchester United have, have always gone for and, and always attracted. You think the likes of, of Wilfred Zaha, I know it, it, was, it didn't pan out as, as maybe all had hoped and, and I, I think he's matured since then so maybe we have a, a different conversation. But it, 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 it reminds me of why United were interested in Zaha and I think if Sessegnon can, can find his, his, his footing, can settle into what's expected of him as a, person, as a personality on and off the pitch. Um, by far, for me, of, of that five, Sessegnon is the one I'd, I'd be most excited about. Look, we're not saying fill your team with 11 youngsters. There, no. has to be, there has to be a balance. But over the last few years, since Fergie, your good friend, good, good, good friend of yours, well, left the football hello. club. Thank you. Um, since he left, they've gone away from that. They've deviated mm -hmm. away from that. Whose fault is that, that they haven't stuck to the principles that he had that served them well? Well, I think ultimately the buck stops on the board. Listen, the, the managers, managers who've come in, be it David Moyes or everybody else since, um, have their own ideas and, and ways of doing things. Um, Sydney, I don't think there's any surprise that Mourinho or Van Gaal didn't, didn't go for young players in much the same way. I don't think they, they, they ever did. Uh, but the board is responsible for not just hiring the managers, but, but, the, the, but bringing in of players and the direction that the club goes in. That's what they do. Managers are responsible for what happens on, on the field. The board is responsible for the club and the direction of the club as a whole. Ultimately, that's where, that's where the buck stops. It doesn't help when your managers go to the press and complain about that direction, but as a board, you've got to be stronger, you've got to be far more purposeful about what you're doing and why you're doing it, and make sure that everybody, manager included, understands that. So if they get 
some of them the future is bright for United? I, listen, the future is bright for Manchester United. They are a big enough club, certainly cash rich enough to, to steer themselves out of this gloom that they've been over, over the last few years. The trouble for them right now is the longer that stays in this gloom, um, the longer the, the likes of Manchester City and Liverpool continue to improve and, and the gap becomes even bigger and, and it becomes harder to, 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 to close. But the future is bright, without question. As long as this direction is detailed um, to everybody and everybody buys in. Did your uncle ever play with Fergie at Falkirk? Um, no. Mine did. 1-0. iPad dropped.